Of course, he was intense, he was difficult. I feel a little bit nervous. We invented technologies to make it happen. Immediately, I thought this project is going to be special. We had only one year. Big project, really, really big. The experience was like a roller coaster. We faced many challenges uh, during this entire project. It's tired. <laughs> Everything impossible, but they managed to do it. My man here is doing awesome work. I can't wait. Amazing experience. Like, yeah, let's do it again. <laughs>
journey starts by bringing their toy to life thanks to augmented reality. Kids can now become friends with their favorite toys and uh, interact with them and even take pictures with them. They can even become their toys by just rotating the camera and wear one of the masks. They can play with their toys in the way they never did before. In Aplado, there are more than 200 playable toys in more than the first Pokemon game. We checked a lot of other games, you know, with uh, augmented reality, and for the first time, uh, I feel that we have something very rare on the market, and the quality of render of the characters is just amazing. Our ambition was pretty high create one of the best AR experiences, 100% dedicated to kids. Today, AR is only accessible via social media forbidden for kids, high-end device too expensive for them. And now that the kids uh, were able to unlock their toys and bring them to life, they had the possibility to embark them in a personalized adventure created and crafted by their own hands. Kids are indeed making decisions and actions that will influence the outcome of the stories. Through the procedural narrative tools that we have created, there are literally thousands of different stories that can be created and read at any moment, like a book. The stories are personalized with the kid's name and avatar and are illustrated with all the kids' decisions that they have made in the adventure mode. We try to make sure that the parents will read the, the stories that the child previously made. It can become quality time with their parents. He comes to you to read the story. So it's a great moment, like boost their imagination. During the journey of story creation, kids have the possibility to draw some element of the environment and to meet encounters that will challenge them through different stimulating and engaging games that we have the chance to co-create with professionals in kids' education from Oxford University. The objective was really to um, support the kids' uh, development by having a collection of games that all have uh, educational potential and that could support different areas of child development. So we have games that help kids to learn how to count, uh, also that help them to communicate, also focus on attention or on memory, or the game that, uh, for example, teach about animals or their sound or where they live. We are talking at the end of a huge, very broad audience of kids between three to six years old. And it's very ambitious because uh, a kid of three has a very different level of development than a kid of six years old. And even two kids of the same age may have a different level of development. The way to make a game that works for every of these age ranges, finding the balance between uh, how complicated or how, how easy you make it for the different ages, I think for sure that was one of our biggest challenges. What we had to do was to create an adaptive difficulty and ensure that each game has its own level design and that the difficulty will adapt based on the previous playing session of the kids. Indeed, but our main target, as we are game love, we wanted to create activities that are just fun so the kids can learn while playing. One of the biggest challenges we had in pre-production was to establish the rules of user interface and user experience because very young kids don't understand abstraction, they don't understand iconography, they cannot materialize what is the structure of an application like adults do. They don't do multi-touch, pinch to zoom. So the navigation needs to be super simple. Also, kids really like to explore, so we needed to have a playful approach that rewards their curiosity. We're not introducing lots of text and we're doing everything visually. We need it to be super interactive, super intuitive, with animation, bright color, super cool visual effects and sounds. Our solution, it was a contextualization. And what is the best place for a kid in which they can play, become who they want to be in their own bedroom? So that's why the main menu of Apple Do looks like a bedroom of a kid in which each feature was actually represented by an actual object that they know. When they click on the book, they can read the story. When they click on the camera, they have access to the photographic feature. 
So we all like the idea of a bedroom because it's really a palpable universe where the kid is a hero. You don't mess with a kid in their, in their bedroom. This is a place where they can decide who they want to be, what they want to look like. So finally, and most importantly, it puts naturally the toy at the center. And we managed to make it as big, thanks to camera perspective, as the kid in the background. It's actually adding more value to the relationship between kid and his toy. What we want in the end is not that the kids spend hours in our play do. We want them to play further after the digital to come back to that toy that is more meaningful to them right now, that they have a story, that they spend moment with him. That's what we aim with digital. That's the funny thing about it. Hello. One of the creative challenges actually that we were facing in pre-production was character design for sure. What we really wanted to do is to bring toys to life and to create meaningful connections between kids and toys. And we believe that the best way to make each interaction meaningful was through toy personalities. How rewarding they are when they connect with the kid, uh, when they get surprised, or they laugh, or they fall. And it's not like a real life, some real animal, but we find a way to make everything like a combo, a play do world. So our methodology was very simple and direct. We took the essence of the kinder physical toys and we amplified their characteristics through adapting their proportions. We amplify their personality through movement and uh, facial expressions. Our primary goal was to create a unique collection of toys that would represent the universe of Apple Do in the way we wanted it to be. With our play I really wanted to immerse the kid into an inspiring and reassuring universe that will stimulate their curiosity, but also their creativity. A world in which a child could see that they'd created themselves. Made of objects from the daily life, a shoebox, post-it, card door. This has definitely been one of the more interesting, more fun challenges, really creating things that look realistic, but still have that handcrafted feel. And I really like the environment that was done in the app using very simple materials. It could be a nice inspiration for children to use that and to recreate some of the environment uh, scenarios that you can find in a play -Doh. In the end, we want to inspire the kid to redo the same at home, to use everything that surrounds them in the house to build their own environment. Sometimes we are giving the device to the kid, but when you give to the kid, you are responsible for what your kid is doing with this device. So you are choosing and guiding him how he spends this time. So it was important for us to quickly show them what a play do. First, a safe environment without any ads, violence in a purchase, but also a content that could improve the development of their children as they will become the main ambassadors of a play do. This is also a tool to create new opportunities between parents and children to create bonds through the application, but also beyond the application. I feel safe about it as a parent. I can follow what my child is doing, how she's playing. If you wasn't with a kid in that particular moment, it's nice to discover uh, new things with your kid and see how the kids work. We had the opportunity to work closely with Oxford universities and they help us to boost the educational potential of some of the features of the applications. And that's why it was important for us to get some prestigious recognition that parents could trust. And now Appledo is officially a KidSafe certified and got the educational app level. A few days ago, Pharaoh shared with us the final TV commercial that will be broadcasted in 40 countries really, really soon. It was emotional because it was the, the, the same DNA of TV commercial from Kinders that I was watching when I was a kid. And... Uh, <laughs> Take two. I can't believe we, we were part of it. I'm super proud we were part of it. And the team did an amazing job. We did it in less than one year. Much shorter than any game love game. And the guy started from a blank page with a crazy idea that I have. It will kind of change the way we see things, we do things, and we learn things. All sitting together, working together, 
trying to find the best way of uh, going from concept to completion. It's kind of a fantastic project for us. Like uh, in this experience, we learn many things. Up and down, scamming, rushing, getting to the point, and in the end, super happy. And I'm very proud to be uh, part of our team. And when you think about it, I don't remember any application that has a TV commercial at launch. I think it would be huge. I grew up with Kinder. Now it's like a different way of using Kinder. I trust it. For the first time now, you have the opportunity to keep playing in digital with your toy. And I think it's, uh, it's pretty cool. When the kids see it, they will love it. Make the kids play a little learn a lot. I really see it integrated yeah. in the family moments and it's part of your family. I can't wait to see the kid and parents playing this. I hope my daughter will like it. I think with the app you can uh, actually extend the life of the toy. What we really want is that when parents want to spend quality time with their children, the first thing they think of is Apple do.